Hey guys, if have I am back again and I am doing a collab video with the Geeks and Beauties. This one is a makeup look collab. It's a year long collaboration with a new installments every month. And this collaboration is based on Marvel. It's called uh, You Look Marvelous. Very funny. Um, if you want to be involved, um, and be involved with Geeks and Beauties and stuff, um, I'll leave a link down below. You can do this if you're not involved with the Geeks and Beauties, we don't mind. Um, it's just easier for you to keep up with the event and stuff like that. Um, that's the main reason. And also because we linked in the event to um, the Marvel page that has all of the different Marvel characters. Um, and that's Marvel characters, not just from the movies, but from the cartoon um, comic books, sorry. The comic books. Um, across the history of Marvel. So, yeah. Um, so what we did is we divided it up um, alphabetically through the year. So January is A and B, February is C and D, etc, etc. December is the only one that's different, which is pretty much W through Z, I believe. Um, because it didn't work out any other way. And there's less characters in those letters, basically. Um, yeah, so we get to pick any Marvel character we want as long as it starts with the letter of the month and create a look, whether it be a makeup look, it could be a manicure, you could do a padding project, you could just show all your Marvel stuff that fits the particular character that you're picking. Um, so like if you're really into a particular character and you have a bunch of stuff at home, you could use it as an opportunity to show off all the stuff you've got um, or talk about your favourite character whatever you want, that's completely up to you, but I'm doing makeup look. Um, and the Marvel character I picked for January, A and B, is Beetle. Uh, Beetle has had about four incarnations across the Marvel Universe over time. The original one is the one that I am going with, which was Abner, or Abe, um, and he is basically purple and tealy green, greenish colour. Um, all of the Beetles are about the same colour, but Sticking with basically purple and green is where I'm going. Uh, yeah, so um, I am not really into superheroes. Um, the, um, Beetle is actually a villain. I uh, tend to prefer villains over heroes, um, but anyway. Uh, I never have particularly liked superheroes over my life. Um, I have not watched any of the Avenger movies other than seeing bits of them and seeing trailers and stuff. I love Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Hemsworth and Chris Pratt and all of those actors, but um, I just, they're not my particular genre, I just don't care for them particularly. And I never have, I wasn't into it as a child. My brothers used to watch Batman cartoon and Superman cartoons and I never really watched them. I would walk out the room. My dad watched the Christopher Reeves Superman movies over and over and um, so I've seen them, didn't enjoy them. Uh, yeah, so just, just to put it out there, I'm not really into that kind of thing, but I do like being inspired to do makeup looks or manicures or stuff by other things and Marvel had some great characters, so yeah, that's why I'm doing this. So if you want to see how I created this look based on Beetle, who looks like that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I am starting with my eyes already primed, my eyebrows already done, so that it looks like I actually have eyebrows. So first up, for my eye base, I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in Fuchsia Fever. It's a sort of purplish color. Um, and I'm mainly going to concentrate that on my mobile lid area. I'm applying it with a brush just because it's. Uh, Meter and cleaner that way. So, Beetle's colours are mainly purple with a bit of 
green, tealy, sort of green, um, which are colours that are right up my alley. And is pretty much the main reason I picked that character. Also, his villain. Um, although Beetle is actually, there's I think four incarnations of Beetle across the universe and a couple of those are actually females. But the original Beetle is um, Abner or Abe and it's Garvin. But all the beetles are pretty much have the same kind of colouring and similar kind of suit sort of thing. Uh, of course I will insert a picture at some point in this video. I may well have already done so. Um, I'm not actually filming this in order. Kind of like you know, how movies are not actually filmed in order. Um, I don't do it scene by scene, it's not like watching a play. Like in a play you do it scene by scene, but in when they're making movies and TV series and stuff like that, they don't usually film scenes in order. And this is the same kind of thing. Um, film this first, then film my intro. <laughs> So, um, and I may have mentioned in my intro, I probably did, that I'm not the biggest fan of superhero stuff. Um, I don't tend to watch a lot of it. Um, I'm surrounded by people who like that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, so, mainly the palette I'm going to use is this one here. Is all in purple tones. This is a pop and purple. It's an LA Colors palette. Um, these palettes cost me like two dollars. I have a whole of like four or four of them. I'm just going to go in with this color here to start off with. None of these have names. And I'm just using a quite a large fluffy brush to work that sort of as an initial transition colour. So as I probably recent this is a year long collaboration with the Geeks and Beauties. I'll leave the Geeks and Beauties link down below if you're interested. You don't have to be a part of the group to join in this either, but it does make it easier for you to I can see the event and stuff like that because we have on the Facebook group we do um, we put up events for these yearly or if we put up a collab type thing we make an event on Facebook so you can go check it out. Um, it's a good way to keep track of what's actually going on so um, that's pretty much why we do it. I'm going to go into um, which one? I'm probably just going to go with this next one down. Um, yeah, so that's probably the best way to keep up on these things. And not everything is, um, like we look at lots of different geekdoms, we don't, we're not, uh, I don't stick to any one particular area, so anything that's pop culture related is pretty much there's somebody in the group. And, you know, if you have ideas for collabs and videos and stuff like that, or Instagram posts or whatever, um, you can talk about it in the group and get other people interested and involved in doing stuff. So. Yeah, and you know, even if you're not particularly into any of the fandoms, you might still find yourself interested in doing the collabs. Like, as I said, I'm not into superheroes and stuff like that, but 
I'm still doing a collab on survey cards because I can. <laughs> Um, and you know this kind of stuff's fun. Playing with makeup's always fun. So I'm going to go into the darker one there on this side. I'll put that on the outer corner and into the deepest part of the crease. As you can see, I do have some fallout right there, which is why I hadn't done my face makeup because. Yeah, more likely with really uh, intense colours or bright colours to end up with mess on your face. So it's just better just not to and go back into the colour I used before. Just blend that out. Quite a gloomy day here today, not much sun, which it's kind of a nice change. It's been pretty hot. It's some really hot days. Um, one question I tend to get a lot at the moment is to do with the bushfires that are in Australia. Um, and I know there's been a lot of it on the media. Um, and not all of it is 100% accurate. One has to be careful what one listens to. Um, um, so the area that I live in, I live, you might have heard of a fire that's in a place called Cuddly Creek or was in Cuddly Creek. That is not that far from where I live. Um, and that particular fire did become within about um, 15 kilometers of where we live, um, but it didn't come any closer than that, and we were basically in a safe area. Um, I'm just going to go into this here, put some of that on my lid. Um, yeah, so we were basically fine. Um, we got a little close for comfort. We had prepared to you know, evacuate if we had to, we had like bags packed and we're keeping a very close eye on what it did and then when it sort of came sort of within that 15 kilometer area um, we actually had a wind change and it went back towards where it had already been basically. Um, I do know some people who um, came very close to losing their houses um, I don't actually know anybody personally who did lose a house. I just know some people who came awfully close to. Um, and then I'm just going to go into this lighter one here, just to blend the top edge a little. Um, yeah, so like one of the hairdressers at where I get my hair done. Um, they had fire basically up to their back door. Um, they lost electricity and water and that sort of thing. Um, so I'm sure that was pretty scary for them. Um, but we were we've been very very lucky. I, I know that for sure. Um, I'm going to tight line with my Lancome Noir. Uh, yeah, the other fire that's in the same state that I'm in, Australia has seven states and territories. Um, I live in South Australia, which is in the south of the country. So there was a, there has been some horrible fires on Kangaroo Island, which is just off the South Australian coast. I've actually been there for a holiday. One of the areas that I was on my holiday, it was during my school years, um, was burnt down. Um, it's pretty horrific, frankly. Um, and most of the other fires are in the eastern states, so Victoria, um, New South Wales, and Queensland. The western fires is probably ones that are in New South Wales. They've been burning for like three months. Um, I'm just going to clean up underneath the line. 
those fires have been the most devastating. Um, a lot of people have lost their houses. We haven't lost as many lives, which is good, um, but the loss of property, uh, infrastructure, animals has been pretty devastating. Um, I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to uh, do my base base makeup and then I'll be back and I'll put some makeup. So I have put on my base makeup and blush and contour bronzer. I'll link all the stuff, well not link, I'll list all the stuff I use down below. Um, now on my eyes I'm actually going to use some of the Vivid Brights in Vivid Violet um, to line the top of my eyes. Um, NYX, obviously. Uh, yeah, so, as I was saying about the bushfires, uh, the worst bit is actually the smoke. Because the smoke hits a um, much larger area than the actual fire does. So, a lot of people living in Sydney and Melbourne have had... Um, the air quality has been terrible because of the fires. Um, and I know last week in Melbourne, they had air quality that was the worst in the world. And it was almost entirely due to the bushfires. Um, now, I can only remember one day out of the entire time that there were fires in South Australia that we actually got smoke in our area. We've been extraordinarily lucky um, and that was we got some smoke from the kangaroo like you could actually smell the smoke from at Kangaroo Island um, and it hit at like midnight like and because it had been a really hot day everybody had their windows open and like the house just filled up with smoke. It was like very strange at 12 o'clock at night because you think oh my god the house is burning down and it wasn't um, and that was probably the worst day for us um, other than the day that the Cudley Creek fires were on um, we haven't had to live with like the, the threat for weeks and weeks on end like they have in other states and of course the firefighters are absolutely worn out like, beyond worn out um, because they've just been fighting these fires for so long so I am going to now go into, um, I think I'm going to use this one here, um, which is uh, Reef from AOA Studios. And I'm just going to put some of that under my eyes. I could have stuck with purple, but I actually really like putting a tearly green under my eye at the best of times, so when it works for the look, it's even better. And then, a little bit of a blend for the purple, what's left on this brush. Just um, take out a little bit. Then I'm going to grab some glue glue mix glitter primer. And put a little bit on the back of my hand. A little brush, and I'm going to put that on the mobile part of my lid. And then I'm going to take 
this glitter, which is called Rave from Glamadol Eyes. Using the same brush that I put the glue on with, let's tap into it, get some glitter, and then press that onto the lid. The main reason I'm doing this is because Beetle is very shiny. Beetles in general are very shiny. Um, but the Beetle in the Marvel Universe, he does have quite a shiny purple and green suit. Or teal suit. Or, see, it's slightly different in the different reincarnations, it's always a different green. It's usually about the same purple, but it's a different green. So when you're using glitters, it's good to use a glitter glue or a glitter primer because they will go everywhere and they probably won't stick to your lid properly if you don't because of the nature of glitter. Yeah, so all those people who've been wondering about, you know, whether I'm safe here in Australia or if, um, yeah, I am. I'm unlucky. I am. Um, a lot of people have not been as lucky. I have friends who live in the eastern states who have been dealing with smoke and ash almost constantly for weeks on end. Um, it's, um, it's causing respiratory issues for people and um, I have one friend who's like really sick from other things and um, they live in Sydney and I can only imagine dealing with the other things that they're dealing with and then dealing with that on top of it. Um, it must be like extraordinarily hard. They're the kind of person you don't talk about how hard these things are. They just that long every single day. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes. I was going to put eyelashes on, but then I thought, I really can't be bothered. I'm not actually going anywhere. Um, I've already been out today and done some things. Uh, so I'm not actually leaving the house. I'm filming another video, and that's pretty much it. So, and I can't be bothered putting on lashes for that. Because it'll probably take me three times longer than I want to deal with, quite frankly. Um, the mascara I'm using is the Bar Mortual Tide. I actually found it doesn't transfer too badly on my lower lashes, which is one of the problems I often have with mascaras. Um, it's not too bad. As long as my eyes don't water, my eyes water it transfers. Um, but it's not as bad as some others I've had. Um, that's why I'm sad I don't have any more clump crusher because that stuck um, and didn't transfer too horrendously badly. So. Now, while I'm waiting for that, that one, mascara to dry a little bit, just going to grab this little brush. Um, I'm using a bit of um, Glamadol Eyes on Lexington. Just going to pull that in the inner corner. This is a very white white with a little bit of a sparkle. I keep thinking of doing a completely white look using just like different textures and stuff of white. Because I have a white with stick. I keep thinking I should just do a white look. But I still haven't done it. Let me know if you'd like me to do that. I'd be, I'd be, I'd do that. 
Alright, now I'll turn it on. Let's go. This mascara is starting to grow on me. Now that it's dried a little, like it's got a little thicker. It was a little on the thin side to start with. I'm not a fan of wet mascara. Okay, so for lips, because I've gone purple with the eyes, I'm going to go green with the lips. And I have a new lipstick that I wanted to use, so. Um, now, first of all, I'm going to line my lips, only line my filling for a change with my Lean Emerald City. It's an eyeliner, but eyeliner can be used on the lips. So the lipstick I'm going to use is one of Sophia Nygaard's from Colourpop. Um, my daughter has recently become very enamoured with Sophia Nygaard and uh, she wanted the Sophia Nygaard lipsticks from Colourpop. She particularly wanted Mrs Norris. So I ended up buying the full set. Um, I gave her Mrs Norris and that. The, like the dark purpley coloured one because she likes that colour. Um, so a nude and a bright dark, uh, dark purple, um, which those are her go-to colours. Um, she has similar colouring to Sophia Naga, so she um, she's tried out a whole bunch of looks that Sophia's done and has like really enjoyed it, which I'm like really happy about because at one stage though she didn't really like makeup. I also bought her one of the uh, 12 pan curated palette things that have come in the um, like magnetic palettes, um, but one of the ones that seemed like really neutral tones. Um, it does have some pressed glitters in it, which I do, wish it didn't, but I gave her some glitter glue and sort of taught her how to use it. So, um, so the lipstick I'm going to be using is Brucey, which is a greenish colour. Um, it's the first time I bought from Colourpop. Um, I have one other Colourpop with me that came, it's like one of the liquid loops that came in a uh, bell box, but I've never bought from Colourpop before. Um, I really like this packaging. It's um, It's got a nice snap closing to, closing to it, like the bats on it, and it, it feels like good quality considering how low cost Colourpop is, so I'm actually really impressed. Um, and to finish it off, I'm going to put on some tinsel lip gloss um, from Ravon. Just to add a little bit of sparkle. But I have to say, I love the colour of Brucey. It is absolutely one of my colours. Like totally up my alley. So, yeah. so this is my Beetle inspired makeup for the You Look Marvelous uh, collab with the Geeks and Beauties. The others who are doing it will be listed down below. If you're doing it and haven't listed you down below, let me know so I can link you down below and also come and check out your video of course. 
Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell next to it so you can get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup type videos and the Marvel Universe. And leave me a comment down below. I will try to answer any questions you ask me and I will like your comment. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.